All right, y'all, today we're gonna talk about the spirit of the Antichrist. Now, before we dive in, I want you to check this clip out and then we're gonna talk about it, all right? Check it out. We don't need to wait for Jesus Christ to come back to earth in order to overcome death. A couple of geeks in the laboratory can do it. We'll have the possibility of upgrading humans into superhumans. Uh, if we, we are giving up on, on gods, but we will turn ourselves into new kinds of gods, we'll maybe acquire divine abilities to ourselves. In the next few decades, we are likely to see the emergence of non-organic life. And the greatest revolution, not only in history, but also in biology. In the 21st century, we may see the emergence of a new massive class of useless people. People who have absolutely no economic value. It's estimated that within, say, 30 years or so, up to 50% of the jobs in the job market will be taken over by artificial intelligence and computers. Everything from driving taxis to diagnosing diseases to even teaching artificial intelligence will be able to do better than humans. Uh, you have a small elite that um, pushes things in its own interests, even if it doesn't benefit the vast majority of the population. This has happened so many times previously in history, and it's probably going to happen again. Now, you just heard this guy say that we don't need to wait for Jesus Christ to come back to have eternal life. Now, look, this is literally the spirit of the Antichrist at work, right? If we read 1 John 2, 22, it says, Who is a liar, but he that denied that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denied the Father and the Son. Now, obviously, it's talking about the spirit of Antichrist being at work because on you can't say on one hand that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, right? But then say you don't need him to get eternal life, right? That's like blasphemy. But... The, the saddest thing is that people are clapping in the crowds and it just it just shows that this the great falling away like the Bible talks about, man. In the last days, it's going to be a great falling away. A lot of people is going to run away from the faith. And now I want to discuss this small clip of the video right here, right? Uh, you have a small elite that um, pushes things in its own interests, even if it doesn't benefit the vast majority of the population. This has happened so many times previously in history, and it's probably going to happen again. Absolutely it is. You wanna know why? Because it's all planned. So you get AI to take over certain jobs, which means that unemployment rate is gonna go up, which means that the person that got fired because AI took his job, now he can't provide for his family. But imagine this happening at mass levels in different industries. Okay, now you just introduce universal basic income, right? Everybody loves that. Everybody's gonna love getting money for free, but as we know, nothing comes free. So I'm gonna give you this universal basic income, but first, before I do that, I'm I'm desensitizing you right now, um, having you accept things that God is clearly against. I'm programming you all throughout school that God is not real. OK, and I'm doing all of this while I'm introducing technology to merge your consciousness and your brain with technology. Now, once all of this stuff is good and you you um, was indoctrinated by all of this godless stuff, you know, by me teaching you Satanism and teaching you that, you know, uh, God is not real and all of this stuff. Now I'm I'm, I'm setting you up for universal basic income, because everybody loves free money, right? And now once this is set up, now I can control you by making you take whatever um, jab or whatever I want you to do by putting you on a social credit score, because if you speak out, now I cut off your money, you know? Saying all that to say this, it's all setting you up for the mark of the beast, and it's the spirit of the Antichrist at work right now. The same way Satan tricked Adam and Eve talking about, oh, you know, God didn't say that, you know, um, you're going to be like God. This is the same tactic and 
it's crazy because nothing new is under the sun. We have this chat GPT now, you know, it's creating sermons where the Holy Spirit is not even in some churches now because they're literally, instead of leaning on God for, for what, what the, the Spirit of God wants this pastor to teach in front of the whole congregation, it's AI, right? AI is literally taking over everything. Instead of Uber, the, now you're having self-driving cars delivering food. It's crazy when you see AI taking over everything. You go inside a fast food restaurant. I kid you not, right? I was in the line, the drive through of a fast food res restaurant, and an AI was talking to me, right? Where, where you would have people on the intercom, it was an AI, and I told them what I wanted, and it was able to interpret everything I said, and then whenever I got to the window, it was a real person. I'm saying all that to say, it's a rise of AI, but it's it's leading up to something, right? The book of Revelation said, whenever the people took the mark of the beast, they're going to wish to die, but death is gonna flee from them. And as we see now, we're constantly being desensitized on these movies with um, transferring consciousness, right? From one person to another. Bro, what do you think this is? What do you think Neuralink and all of this stuff is conditioning people for? right bro stay prayed up all right stay prayed up man because we are living in some interesting times and i don't want y'all to be tricked or fooled by this man this is the spirit of the antichrist at work these people are denying christ you can't like you can't say that jesus christ is the only way and then say we don't need christ to have eternal life right if we don't need christ to have eternal life what's gonna happen like are, do you think you can create your own heaven? Like, do you, like, I don't understand the logic in that, right? Do you try to use technology so you can avoid going to hell for living a sinful life? You, you, you know what I mean? Bro, you can't, out, you can't outsmart God, no matter how smart you think you are. The Bible says that the wisdom of the world is foolishness to God. That means that there are people out here that's so head smart to the point to where they're spiritually blind and dumb and they don't understand anything in the spirit because it doesn't make sense mentally. Don't be one of those people, man. As always, I love y'all. God bless.